Hi guys, maybe you will ask where I'm at. Well, I'm just around the corner. And this early in the morning is my ample time to collect and gather the food for our goats. And as you can see at my back, we have overgrown trees that we need to trim down. And we cannot waste this one because if you have these goats, it is as if you have shader machine because you will not worry about your grasses, your trees, because they will eat that. So we will go there and I would like to introduce to you a very popular, the most popular food for the pigs, the goats, even the other animals like the chickens. This is Madre de Agua. This Madre de Agua is very popular, but I just don't know why our farmers doesn't plant much of this because this is the good source of protein. I planted so many Madre de Agua already in the previous farm and they have grown big. But here in our place, in our new place, we also have two, at least two Madre de Aguas that we can get as source for our food. So we will go there and please witness. Come on, let's go. You see this one? This is a miracle tree. I said it's a tree because it will really grow big like a tree. And you will see that the leaves of this are juicy. You know, it's very fat here, it's green. I don't know if uh, what's the content of this, but according to my research, this is one good food for our animals. And this is not an ordinary food. This cannot be compared to ordinary grasses because it has high value of nutrients. And I was told that the protein content of this Madre de Agua is as high as 40%. So if we will feed this one, you will cut this like that. Very easy to cut. And maybe you will ask Dexter, how would we plant Madre de Agua? Well, they can survive through cuttings. For example, this one, you are going to plant this one. You have to count one, two, three, four nodes and you will cut just like that here okay and then this would be good for planting of course you will remove the leaves and of course in planting you have to choose the young stems or the young branches so that it will grow fast so please witness as we are going to harvest this one And in our next vlog, I would like to teach you how to plant this one. It's very easy. And what amazes me about this plant is the fact that they are liked by every animal. You name it, like the turkey, the ducks, the chickens, the rabbits. Every animal would like this one. I don't know, maybe this is sweet. Maybe we can have a taste of the young leaves here. I know this is edible because the animals won't die when they eat this one. So we will try and I can tell you what's the taste of this. It's like guava, you know? It tastes like guava and it's sweet. And now I know the reason why all the animals would love to eat this one. I'm surprised, even the catfish. If you will chop this one, and give it to the catfish, the catfish will eat this one. I won't recommend to the goldfish and the Japanese koi. They might experience bloated tummy. But for the catfish and even the tilapias, they can eat this one. The process is just to chop this very tiny and then mix this with the regular food that you're giving and then that's it. You can already give that to your catfish and even to your tilapias.
So I have this food for our goats early in the morning. And Madrid de Agua is one. And this is comparable to the vitamins, the synthetic vitamins that you can buy in the market. And you're getting this for free. Why are some people go to the gym and make an exercise? Because it's needed. The bottom line is we need to perspire. We need to exercise and pump our heart so that we can attain the perfect health. And in my case, I don't need to go to the gym and exercise anymore because as early as four o'clock in the morning, I'm already perspiring. I'm sweating now that I don't anymore go to the gym to exercise so you will see here that we have this um, manzanitas um, I asked you about what's the name of this and some of you patiently answered many many names actually and there was even a Spanish name that you have uh, put in the comment box and I'm so thankful about this this manzanitas is one of the best sources also of food and of course the Madre de Agua And you will witness now that this goat could not wait to eat this one. Oh, okay. See, they really like this one because this is sweet. And of course, Rudy will also taste this. Rudy, <laughs> I am going to give this leaf to Rudy. I can't eat that. Oh, it's so sweet, right? <laughs> There's a lot more here. Rudy, don't eat that. This is the best. No, no, no. Do not fight. Oh, this one, this one, this one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you see, this is Rudy. Our back here. That's half Anglonovian and half native. You know, this goat farming is very challenging because if you will breed directly the native goats to the hybrid, there will be a problem in the delivery of the kid because the kid will grow big inside the tummy and the native goats, since they are small, they cannot deliver babies. They have to go through cesarean process. So this is tedious. As a goat farmer, you have to think of ways on how to evade this kind of, this kind of happening, this kind of phenomenon, should I say. So we will produce first the F1, meaning that we will cross the half breed to our native and then as we go along we will upgrade our breeding up to the time that we can get the 100 percent you know guys in goat farming your capital will be your patience why? Because it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of work. If you will decide to pasture your goat, still you have to watch over them so that they will not go to the other properties and damage it. And in the surroundings, we have here so many vegetable plantation. That's why I always see to it that we cannot do damage to the vegetables of our neighbors. So we have to be patient about it. And if you will decide also to you know, take care of them inside the cage, meaning you will just cut and feed. It's also very tedious. The work is so much. That's why I said the success of life has no shortcut. We have to toil, we have to labor in order to achieve our goals. So no shortcut to success. I would like to encourage you to do the best that you can. 
all the things that we do here are actually one of the best that we can do. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you will continue to like and share our videos. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, may I humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are uploading videos very regularly. And if you will subscribe, of course, you will be notified of our regular uploads. And I would like to see you in my next video only here at Dexter's World.